Number 15. The Sphere NASA's camera, S-T-E-R-E-O, which orbits the sun, caught this mysterious sphere in its sights. While some do suggest the object is a UFO, many question whether or not this mystery sphere is a rogue planet. Others debunk this theory saying, we don't see it moving, and then it's gone. After much back and forth, no progress was made via the internet and social media as to what the object could be. It certainly does look exceptional and I'm stumped. YouTube user Mr. Faith in Physics puts it simply, I think it's safe to say we all are as well. Number 14. Mystery Object The UK's John Craddock says he spotted something most mysterious in his regular viewing of NASA's feed. I've been watching it, the live feed, for years, but never seen any UFOs on it before, he told news group The Mirror. I was showing a friend how it worked at around 11.30 p.m. when the feed cut out, and 35 seconds after it came back on, this object appeared. At first, it was really small, and then it grew bigger, lasting for about 25 seconds. Craddock thinks the object was a UFO because, in his words, nothing human can fly that high. Many offered worldly explanations for what Craddock saw. For instance, Reddit user Lord Gorzel suggested it was lens flare from the sunrise. Accelerate the video, he suggests. You will see the perfect lens circle, bottom to top, being drawn as the sun rises. We have yet to land on a consensus as to what this mysterious object might be. Number 13. Coronal Loops One thing's certain, the sun is at the center of our solar system, literally. So why shouldn't it be at the center of our study of space? NASA was thinking along these lines when they developed TRACE. The Transition Region and Coronal Explorer, launched in 1998 and taking its last image in 2010, Trace caught some of the sun's magnificent and mysterious coronal loops. You may be wondering what are coronal loops? They are the loops that form the sun's lower corona and transition region and they result from the sun's magnetic flux. The loops are something astounding to behold and, thanks to NASA, you can be beholden to them. Just look at them. Both mysterious and incredible. Number 12. Blue Lights One of these mysteries lies in an image submitted to Reddit by Debugged Robot. Captured by NASA's 1972 Apollo 17 mission, the image shows three blue lights flashing. Many believe these may be headlights, so to speak, of a UFO. It is directly from NASA's server. Unlike other photos in this top 15, NASA hasn't attempted to clear it from its server, leaving the more skeptical among us to suggest that perhaps, maybe it's just a glitch in the photographic stitching of the panorama. Orbital debris, as suggested by Rogue Cop, or a reflection on the window from interior lights, as suggested by EEZ Feeds. Ariax throws all of this into question, saying the following, Interesting to note that since no stars are showing anywhere else, these lights must have been very bright by comparison. Seems like that would eliminate reflections as a possible explanation too. Number 11. The Star Destroyer Barbarian Sasquatch posted this image to Reddit, to which an anonymous user said that it looks like a Star Destroyer or the Millennium Falcon as suggested by Liar4898. The photo, which was captured by the Mercury Redstone 1A mission in 1960, is one of the more mysterious photos of the bunch. Rather than a speck or a dot, its shape is closer to that of which we can all imagine a spacecraft to look like. Redditor Deuce said, I think it's a reflection of the planet Mercury in the probe's camera. Notice the gradient of the curve, which closely matches that of the planet. Also notice the brighter squares in the zoomed version, which look like artifacts when light hits the lens. And then there is the planet's terminator. If you look at the original image, which looks to match position with this anomaly, the Black Vault, who dedicated an entire blog post to this photo, duly noted that, in 1960, 
There wasn't much in space, so what could this mysterious object be? He's right. Satellites, spaceships, rockets. We Earthlings hadn't really gotten our feet wet when it comes to space exploration and technology as we know it today. Of the reflection theory, he writes, I feel that you can discount this theory of a reflection due to the fact the reflection does not appear in two of the photos in between these two frames in or near the spot, and also the theory ignores photo number MR1A9186268, which may show the object much farther in the background. The Black Vault analyzes the photo, matching and overlaying photographs to show that they do not align. By matching up the clock on the top left, you can see the object in question appears to be in a different position, therefore potentially ruling out it's a reflection. Inside the craft of an object, if it was a reflection, once the clocks were lined up, the reflection would also be on top of each other, he says. What do you believe? Number 10. Black Spec, a redditor with the username Postmaster, uploaded a photo caught by NASA's cameras with the question, What do you guys think this is? This appears to be a shot from Mars and off in the distance, a black speck. The speck is what OP is really speculating about. Redditor suggests that it's a hot pixel, which is a common defect found in most digital cameras. Another anonymous Redditor says, if it's an object, it would have to be pretty small. If it was large, it should be in the distance and hazy like the hills. But if you zoom in, it's pitch black, Another in-depth analysis by Bodhi stated, I quickly compared the darkest pixel on the anomaly with the darkest pixel on a rock at intermediate distance. Both colors are absolute black. RGB 000. Oswald Copperpot agreed. You're right. The anomaly contains two black pixels, 4x6 and 5x6. Absolute black does exist in areas of rock as well. So what is it? An object, a photographic error, or a UFO caught on camera by NASA? It's impossible to know for sure. Number 9. The Mothership The International Space Station caught a glimpse of what appears to be a large spacecraft, but instead of alerting the media, NASA dimmed the feed. Street Cap One uploaded the video to YouTube in March 2017, writing in the caption, I thought I was seeing things. I had to be quick. The dimming at the end was sudden, and my guess is they, NASA, turned down the brightness a little. The clip in question shows a narrow UFO staged along the planet's horizon. Below it, hovers two bright objects that appear to be reflective. YouTuber Rob Morgan notes of the objects below. If you pause the video and move the slide bar, I don't think they are lights but thrusters. They go from running horizontal to what looks like a hover mode. So what is this mysterious hovering object? And why is it hovering? And what is NASA trying to hide? The dimming of the feed makes many question whether NASA is tampering with the International Space Station's projected images. Is it a UFO, some other space anomaly, or a hoax? Whatever it is, it's certainly mysterious. Number 8. An Asteroid with a Moon In January of 2015, NASA's 230-foot-wide deep space network antenna in Goldstone, California captured images of the 2004 BL-86 asteroid. The asteroid approached Earth at a distance of nearly 745,000 miles, its closest yet, and a mysterious object floated around it. Goldstone scientists soon found that the asteroid had its own moon, the moon, which measures 230 feet across orbits the 1,100-foot asteroid, and actually, it turns out an asteroid with a moon is not unique. According to NASA, 16% of asteroids that are about 655 feet or 200 meters or larger are a binary, 
the primary asteroid with a smaller asteroid moon orbiting it, or even triple systems, meaning two moons, how can they? How does this happen? Well, because moons are simply natural satellites that orbit a body that has enough gravitational pull to draw them into their orbit. Number 7. The Aurora Well, the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is not necessarily a UFO mystery. Catching the mysterious natural phenomenon on camera via the NASA space station would certainly be something. And that's exactly what NASA has done. Before we get to NASA's image, the images shown here of an auroral substorm and provided by the University of Calgary were taken using special all-sky movie cameras. These cameras capture black and white images of the aurora as it spreads across the sky from one horizon to the other. If you're watching the aurora borealis from the ground, you will witness the brightening of the auroral band as it heads south, the light splits into various bands, purple, red, white, which begin to dance around. These are the first phases of the auroral substorm. That's what these images represent, the substorm phases. While the aurora is incredible in and of itself, capturing the mysterious dancing light on camera via space is even more incredible. This image, captured by NASA's Expedition 52 flight, engineer Jack Fisher is breathtaking. Stationed at the International Space Station, 250 miles above the Earth, Fisher took the video and photos of the aurora on June 26, 2017. This NASA video also shows the mysterious aurora borealis in action. Glorious. Number 6. Mars Moon Eclipse you don't need cardboard glasses to view this Phobos eclipse, captured by NASA. What's Phobos, you ask? It's the larger and innermost of Mars' two moons. NASA managed to capture Phobos' eclipse of the Sun in this mesmerizing video sequence. Taken by NASA rover Curiosity, the rover, staged on Mars, took 89 images of the eclipse, resulting in this sequence, which lasted 32 seconds in real time. So now that you've paid witness to one of the most mysterious and rare sightings on Earth, a solar eclipse, you can also say you've seen one of the rarest and most mysterious sightings on Mars, a lunar eclipse. Thanks, NASA. Number 5. Flashing Light from Earth For years now, NASA researchers have noted flashing lights over the ocean. The mystery was first discovered by DSCOVR, Deep Space Climate Observatory. Deputy Project Scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Alexander Marshak, in looking over the photographic images, Marshak said he spotted some strange flashes lighting up over oceans. Ever since the NASA camera launched in 2015, hundreds of these flashes were photographed in about a year span. 866 flashes from June 2015 to August 2016 to be exact. The source of the flashes is definitely not on the ground, Marshak said. It's definitely ice and most likely solar reflection off of horizontally orientated particles. This theory was confirmed as the researchers plotted the points and they lined up. The angle between the Earth and the Sun had to be the same as that of the spacecraft to Earth so that DSCOVR would capture reflected light, which, according to NASA, bounced off of high altitude, horizontally orientated ice crystals. Mystery solved. Way to hit it out of the park, NASA. Number 4 evidence of UFOs. Anything unidentifiable in the sky could be a UFO. In fact, by the very definition it is. So why is NASA getting rid of photographic evidence of these most mysterious flying objects? According to UFOologists, NASA is clearing its archive of several of the most controversial photos that point to the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life seems awfully convenient that said photos would suddenly disappear. The photos in question were first posted on the NASA Johnson Space Center site 
In May 2011, according to the examiner, they clearly showed a spacecraft of some advanced design. The photos were on the site for a year and a half before they were removed by NASA. People claim that their removal is a cover-up. However, others note that if NASA were part of some cover-up operation, they wouldn't have posted the photos in the first place, nor would they leave them up for such a long duration. The photo pictured here is one of those, which has supposedly been removed. NASA identified the image as space debris, but of course, now all you can see is a UFO. Number 3. Climate Change Need some evidence that climate change is real? Go take a look at photographs of the Earth from outer space. The evolution of NASA's images of the Earth from space is startling, and this evolution clearly shows that, whether you believe in global warming or not, the Earth is changing and the ice is melting. Take a look at these side-by-side -side images of the Arctic Sea, for instance. The one on the left is of the Arctic in 1984. The one on the right is from 2012. As you can see, much of the ice has melted in those 30 years. While it's clear that ice is melting, the question is, can we stop its progression? Number 2. White Speck The white speck pictured here comes from a series of images caught on camera by NASA's Curiosity rover. That rover has sure picked up many curious things, as this one calls into question the possibility of Martians. The white speck appears to be descending on the planet, but as with most of these photos, the idea of it being a UFO is quickly called into question. Remember the term we learned earlier, hot pixel? That's what NASA says the speck is, just a simple hot pixel, a common defect in digital camera imaging. The camera sensors get hot while images are long exposed, like this one, resulting in a bright spot in the photograph. While this seems logical, the hot pixel theory won't stop certain UFO enthusiasts from believing. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I recently created a subreddit where you can submit videos and stories for future lists. It's r slash chills narrator, and the link is in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. If English isn't the only language you speak and you're interested in getting a shout out, click more, then add translations. By translating the video, not only will more people be able to watch it, but a link to your channel will be added in the description. Number 1. Several UFOs when the International Space Station caught images of what appeared to be several UFOs framed in the window behind one of their astronauts, it became big news online. The uproar was so great that NASA had to respond. The alleged UFO appears in footage that was uploaded by Tyler Glockner of Secure Team 10. On March 18, 2017, the NASA footage shows an astronaut from the Italian European Space Agency, Samantha Cristoforetti, demonstrating to viewers how the window shutters are used on the space station. While speaking to the camera, foreign objects appear behind her through the window. In an unusual break from its common course of action, ignoring claims like this completely, NASA released a statement, no unidentified objects in the popular sense have been seen from the International Space Station, reflections from station windows. The spacecraft structure itself or lights from Earth commonly appear as artifacts in photos and videos from the orbiting laboratory. Of course, that doesn't silence theorists. Nor should it really, as the mystery of whatever these objects are remains unsolved. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!